Hello people, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, let's discuss about ROC and AUC curves. So ROC curves stands for Receiver Operating Characteristic. So uh, this ROC curves was very first introduced in signal theory detection. So mainly say uh, you have a signal and so it was used to detect where it was affected by noise or not. So this essentially is a binary classification problem and so ROC curves was used to uh, measure the performance of binary classifiers. Now uh, you have say uh, your true positive rates and false positive rates. So ROC curves is essentially a trade-off between true positive and false positive where on the y-axis you plot the TPR and on the x-axis you plot the FPR. So TPR is the fraction of positive examples correctly classified and FPR is the fraction of negative examples incorrectly classified. So this is also called as sensitivity and FPR is called as fallout. Now you have this curve. So you construct this. So this is a two dimensional curve. So you have some curves on this. So this curves that is this points on this curves denote your classifiers or the model which are induced by your classifier. Now there are some critical points on this which convey some uh, special meaning. So if your TPR is equal to FPR is equal to 0. That means both are 0. That means your classifier always predicts all the instances to be of the negative class. Now if your TPR is equal to FPR is equal to 1. That means your classifier predicts all the instances to be positive. If your TPR is equal to 1 and FPR is equal to 0. That means it's an ideal class. So this is a condition for ideal class in ROC curves. Now uh, let us move for constructing uh, an ROC curve. So uh, we will do some uh, ROC baselines in this. So say we have the same. You have true positive rates and false positive rates. So say for example you have your curve like this. And say this is a starting point 20, 40, 60, 80 and 100. And here you have 20, 40, 60, 80 and 100. So you have this. So it's connected. So it's a graph. So on this, uh, let's do some uh, baseline analysis. So at this point, it always predicts to be 0. And at this point, it always predicts to be 1. And say here, 80% of the time, it predicts 1. Now, this ROC curve you create for any classifier. Say we have chosen any random classifier. And for that, you have this baseline analysis. Now, what we do is uh, we understand uh, one more concept in this that is called as ROC convex hull. Now to understand this uh, let's take five classifiers say you have C1, C2, C3, C4 and C5. Now I'll construct this over here. So say uh, let this be here only. So now just consider we have five of this so c1 so each of this will classify the true positive rates and false positive rates and we'll just plot on one particular uh, one single curve so we have c1 here then we have c2 here then say we have c3 then we have say c4 and c5 now what we do is we just join all this curves and what we get is a uh, some kind of a triangle so this curve is called as a convex hull. So any point which is below this convex hull is called as suboptimal. 
so that classifier will be called as a suboptimal classifier now in this you can see that c3 is uh, below all this so c3 will be a suboptimal classifier now in this how we constructed this point so this mainly comes from the concept of pareto dominance so say uh, you have this point so what you do is basically you construct one horizontal and vertical line and you say all the instances which are below this are dominated by this point and similarly here you say all the instances which are uh, below here are dominated by this point and so you construct all this and you get a front basically so that front is called as a convex hull now let's discuss about the term that is auc that is area under the curve so that simply your area under your roc curve so say for here you have this portion which is the auc now auc has some uh, special meanings so auc is used to uh, depict the performance of your classifier now auc has some values so if you have auc is equal to 1 that means all your positive examples comes after your negative examples if you have auc is equal to 0 that means all negative examples comes after your positive examples and if you have your auc as 0.5 then that will be of a random classifier so basically you do not have any classifier whose auc is less than 0.5 so that is a condition here so we can say that auc basically has the domain from 0 to 1 now how do we do the interpretation of auc curves so say for example uh, you have a classifier c and you want to predict the rank of positive examples higher than the rank of randomly chosen negative examples so it's written as auc of c that is a classifier which is equal to probability of x plus greater than x minus so uh, this is how you mathematically estimate the area under a curve so well that was all regarding the roc and auc curves in machine learning so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found it well as you are watching this video please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching this video